Uranium is pretty much everywhere. It decays into radium-226. I took a vial of radium-226 in water in solution and opened it in a closet and let it sit there for a few hours, enough time to build up radon concentrations in that closet. And what's happening in that situation is that the radon gas is coming out of solution just as the radon gas comes through the foundation of your home, especially if there's low barometric pressure. Then what happens to the radon gas? It further decays into radioactive heavy elements, polonium, bismuth, and lead. And what do they do? So let's see what happens when I go back into that closet with a pancake probe that can detect these alpha particles emitted by the radioactive heavy elements that radon gas leaves inside your home. So I've left my suit jacket in here for a few hours and you can hear from the chirping that there are alpha particles that are being emitted from the radioactive polonium, bismuth, and lead that have adhered to my clothing. They also adhere to our hair, to our skin. Alpha particles aren't dangerous outside of our body. The problem is we breathe in radon gas and its decay products as they decay in our buildings. And because they're metals, they want to adhere to something, including the, the inside lining of our lungs, where they stick. Just like these particles have stuck on my clothes, they continue to irradiate us, causing experts estimate 20,000 deaths a year are preventable if we reduce radon concentrations in our home. It's not expensive, so it's up to you. You can make a measurement. Some costs between $50 and $75. If levels are higher than about 4 picocures per liter, you can get it fixed for less than a few thousand dollars. That's expensive, but if people are worried about radiation exposure from nuclear power plants, from Fukushima, people were worried about Three Mile Island. This exposure from radon and its decay products totally dwarfs all of those over all the years combined. This is the single largest radiation exposure that Americans face and it's fixable. So yeah, it's natural. It's natural radiation, right? Well, so is arsenic and lead. Ultimately, the radioactive lead and polonium and bismuth that are floating around in the air will decay into the stable lead 206, but lead, even non-radioactive, isn't the greatest thing to have sticking in the inner lining of our lungs. Even though we can't detect it with our senses, you can detect it with an alpha particle detector. So it's there. That was only about 25 picocuries per liter in that closet. You're going to come out and you're going to have radioactive heavy elements on your hair and on your hat and on your clothes and on the outside of your skin, which the alpha particles they emit don't hurt you there, but they do when you inhale them into the inner linings of our lungs. So get measured, get this radioactive heavy elements out of our air. It's easy, Google National Radon Proficiency Program. There's lists of participating providers who can test your house. A lot of time home inspectors do it as part of a package. So it's easy, there's cheap screening measurements that you can make. So please do it because this is too many people dying of lung cancer.